Welcome to this session on e-commerce domain training. My name is Prashant Tawalam, and I'm going to be your trainer for this e-commerce domain training. In this training, you will understand the different aspects of e-commerce, what are some of the important processes, terminologies, and topics that you need to know as a business analyst. So if you're a business analyst who's trying to transition into an e-commerce domain, and work as a business analyst, this particular uh, training program will get you up to speed in terms of understanding the different topics. So during the course, I will start with the history and the high level processes of e-commerce and then get into specifics of each topic. In each topic, I will also give you relevant examples and share my experiences with respect to e-commerce domain. Now let's quickly look at what are some of the major modules we will cover in the e-commerce domain training. Now, the first module you will cover what is e-commerce. Under e-commerce, you will study e-commerce history, supply chain, stages and processes of e-commerce, you will also understand some of the major players and competitions at the global level and at India level. Second, you will also look at concepts and terminologies. The concepts and terminologies are very important as a business analyst because you will be interacting with a lot of stakeholders in the e-commerce domain. Hence, you need to know concepts and terminologies. You also need to know what are the influences on e-commerce. So we will understand pestle analysis, the four P's of e-commerce. We will also look at industrial codes in this particular topic. The third topic, which is e-commerce technological landscape, we will cover D2C, which is direct to customers, its popular brands, and also overview of D2C. In the B2B, which is business to business, we will cover popular brands and business processes of B2B. Similarly, there is another business model, B2C, which is business to customer. We will talk about the business overview of B2C and popular brands. We will also cover global e-commerce platforms and Indian e-commerce platforms as part of this technological landscape description. Further, we will look at top e-commerce websites and types. What does it actually comprise of and why is it important to understand each of the building blocks for e-commerce? You will see we talk about home page, product page, category pages, shopping cart, checkout section, account section and other minor sections. In the next module, we will talk about omni-channel experience, which is on the e-commerce store and its overview. We will cover what exactly comprises of a e-commerce store, a retail store, and so on. And as part of the e-commerce store experience, we will talk about storefront, selling flow, the back room, customer service area, and other functional areas in a typical retail and e-commerce setup. Next, we will further get more specific into product details, which is on the SKU, which is stock keeping unit. We will understand what is a stock keeping unit, what are the details of stock keeping unit, along with suitable examples. Next, we will look at category tree, which is basically giving you an understanding of how deep a product can go in terms of categories. We understand different product categories like clothes and within clothes, you get different other levels of deep down or drill downs. Next comes Shopify, which is one of the most popular e-commerce platform where you can host your e-commerce store. We will look at how it you can host a Shopify store. We look at uh, different aspects of storefront, their features, scalability, and so on. We will also cover product detail page in the next module. We will understand what makes a good product detail page, what are some of the strategies for a good product detail page, and so on. Next module, we talk about checkout process, where we talk about shipping, billing, order review, payment, and order confirmation processes. Then we get into the aspects of marketing in e-commerce, looking at different aspects of marketing that happens in e-commerce, the social media and content marketing being the famous ones. Once the marketing is done, you need to actually 
use marketing funnels to understand leads, to understand how users are behaving to your marketing uh, campaigns. So marketing funnels for e-commerce is that particular module. Then comes uh, some common issues with the e-commerce, which is around cart abandonment. What is cart abandonment and why do people abandon or users abandon carts? What are the strategies to reduce it? What are some of the advanced strategies you can see in cart abandonment? And we will look at Gen AI in e-commerce. We will look at artificial intelligence and how Gen AI is cha changing the e-commerce landscape. And finally, we will end it with the future of e-commerce, which is on mobile e-commerce, AI in e-commerce, social e-commerce, subscription, omni-channel, customer experience related um, you know, future uh, changes. So this will give you a holistic understanding of the e-commerce domain and you will feel comfortable working in any of these different areas as a business analyst. Thank you for watching this video and hope to see you in the first session or the first module of e-commerce. Thank you for watching.